Welcome to the JCMS Web Basic Training Video Tutorial Program. In this video, I'll show you how to use the features of the Vivaria layout. I'll show you how to move mice from one cage to another, how to change a mouse and cage status, how to create a pair or trio mating, and how to add a litter. Start by logging into JCMS Web using MTS Admin or your personal credentials. Once you're on the JCMS web homepage, click on Manage Colony, either in the top navigation or the left navigation. Once you're in Manage Colony, click the Vivaria layout in the left navigation. Here you'll notice that I've set up and customized my Vivaria layout. You can do so in the administration screen under Vivaria Layout Manager. There you can add, edit, move, duplicate, delete, or customize a room or rack. I'll start by showing you how to move a cage to a rack. Click on a rack in the layout list. Select a mating card and a detail card. And then select a strain from the drop down list. Once you select a strain, you'll get a list of cage IDs, which you can then select and drag to any empty cage on the rack. You'll see that cage 13867 has been added to the rack. You'll notice there are some cage details. The first line in the cage detail says mixed. What that means is that mice within this cage have mixed strains, so their strains are not the same. If two mice within the cage had the same strain, you would see that strain listed up there on the top line. The next detail in the cage shows you the sex of the mice within that cage. F slash M means that females and males are in that cage. If you see just M, that means male only mice are in the cage and F means only female mice are in the cage. If you see breeding, that means that is a mating cage. If you click the magnifying glass and scroll to the bottom of the rack, you'll see all the mice within that cage. You'll see their ID, their birth date, sex, strain, life status, owner, and genotype. You can also print a cage card by clicking the mouse icon on the cage details. In a breeding cage, you can view and print the mating card. And in a holding pen, you can view and print the detail card. So that is how you move a cage to a rack. You can also view cages by their name instead of the ID. So if I click this checkbox, you can now see that the cage ID has been changed to a cage name. And you can change that name to anything that you'd like through the administration menu. Now I'll show you how to change mouse and cage status. Click the change mouse and cage status radio button. Select a mating card and detail card again. Then I'm going to drag a cage over to the status change list box. You'll notice that the cage is now in the status change list box. And if I want to remove this cage from the list box, I just have to click this red X. But I want to retire this cage. So what I'll do is select a new life status of euthanized and a new container status of retired. And then I'll click Submit. And you'll see that the rack space is now empty again. Now I'll show you how to add a pair of mating. Select a litter stray. Select a litter generation. Select a mating diet and a mating date. Select a wean time, standard or extended. Click the checkbox if they need genotyping. Select an owner. You can enter a wean note, comments, cage name, and cage comments if you desire. Once you have filled out the mating details, select an empty space on the rack and click the green plus sign in the center of the empty cage. And here you'll see DAM1, DAM2, and Sire. Now what I'll do is drag mice from different cages into this new mating cage. 
So I'll go ahead and drag this male mouse into the mating cage. If there is more than one male in the cage, the first one in the list will become the sire in the mating cage. If I don't want the first one in the list, I can always click the magnifying glass, scroll to the bottom, and select the correct male mouse that I need. Now I'll drag a female mouse into the mating cage. Instead of just dragging this female cage over to the mating cage, I'd like to see the mice within it, so I'll click the magnifying glass. You'll notice there are two female mice in this cage. I'll select the second one and drag that up to the mating cage. And then I'll click Save. And that is how you create a mating cage. For Add Trio Mating, it's the same exact steps, except you can go ahead and add a second dam to the mating cage. Now we'll show you how to add a litter to an existing mating. Select the green plus sign on the mating cage. You'll see the mating ID appear under, under the litter details. Enter the total born. Enter the litter ID or click next litter number. Enter the date born, wean date, and tag date. If you have calculate dates checked, all you have to do is enter the date born and the other dates will autofill. Select a status for the pups and enter a comment and then add pups. A proposed base mouse ID is provided, but you can change that if you'd like. Add a protocol, select an origin, and then here you can start dragging female and male pups into the mating. I'll go ahead and add two female mice and three male mice. You'll notice that the mice I'm adding appear down below, and here I can enter a cage name if I'd like, and then I click Save. Now if I want to create a new cage, I click the plus sign on an empty cage space. You'll notice that cage details appear. Here I can enter a cage ID, a cage name, the cage status is active, you can select a date, it'll display the room and level, and then you can enter a cage comment. That concludes our training for the Vivaria layout. For more information or to post questions, please visit our website at colonymanagement.jax.org.